Hi guys. So I begin this drawing by plotting out all the facial features using an HB pencil and drawing very lightly. Now I use an app called Fino, or there is another app that you can use called Artist's Eye. And this app is a tool that you can use to ensure that your initial drawing is laid out correctly. Because there's nothing worse than getting halfway through your drawing and then suddenly realizing that your mouth is too low or your eyes are too far apart. It is not so bad if you are painting, as this can be corrected by painting over a section and starting again. However, when it comes down to colored pencil or even graphite drawing, this is not possible to correct at a later stage and your drawing will be ruined. The Fino app overlays a transparent version of your reference picture over your page and using your phone camera and screen you are able to plot the basic outlines quickly leaving you more time to concentrate and enjoy the drawing process. I prefer this method over and above the grid method as with the grid method you have to draw a grid on your paper and then rub the grid out at a later stage and some parts of your grid may not be completely erasable. Once the face is plotted out, I'll then take a putty eraser and gently lighten any areas of the initial outline that may be too dark as I don't want this to show through my final layers. So, onto my drawing. I start off by working on a section at a time using my lightest colors. I lightly shade in the areas making sure I do not press hard on my pencils and block in sections of color as an initial base layer. Once the base layer is done, I build up layers of color while constantly looking at the colors on my drawing to see whether they need adjusting. And I can build up additional layers of color in order to get to a point where I am happy that it matches with the reference picture. For example, let's just say I have put down a cyan blue layer, however you notice that there are some magenta tones in this color. You can then pull out your magenta pencil and lightly overlay this on top of the cyan blue and keep layering while slowly increasing the pressure on your pencil until you get to a point where the color is correct and the values are correct. I can't express this enough, if you want your drawing to have a realistic look then you need to make sure that your values are correct. Take one section of your drawing, for example the lips, and compare this against the reference picture and ask yourself, is this the same value as the reference and if not, continue working it to make it darker or lighter until you get the same value. Just a few things to bear in mind that you will only be able to shade in so many layers before it becomes almost impossible to add in more as the tooth of the paper may have become full of pigment or the surface may be flattened by pressing too hard. It is at this point that the surface of the paper will become difficult to work on and add more layers. Secondly, once you have added in the above layers, you may have a grainy effect and your drawing will look much better if you smooth these out by blending with cotton buds or blending stumps or even tissue paper. Or you could burnish your drawing by choosing a lighter color and pressing hard to force the pigment into the tooth of the paper and thus removing the grain. I use both methods. The beginning layers I would blend with cotton buds and blending stumps and even cotton wool or tissue paper. And I use the burnishing method for my final layer. Once the face was complete, I then took a picture of my drawing and put this alongside my reference photo and viewed the images together side by side on my mobile. This helped me to compare the two images on a digital screen and any differences between the two images are clearly visible. I can then go in and adjust areas of my drawing that need to be worked on to bring the drawing to a more realistic look. Well, I certainly have had fun with this drawing and I love the pink and purple reflections in her face. So, I wish you all the best on your art journey with whatever medium you prefer to use. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you click the like button and subscribe to my channel. It will certainly make my day. Have a good day and God bless.